Hi everybody, I'm Alex. And I'm Tyler. Welcome to Unit 8 Instant Accent. Ha ha! Now I'm not really American, I'm English. And he is not English, he's American. You may have noticed we were doing fake accents there, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Not necessarily fake accents, but maybe wrong accents. Uh, Angie Yen of uh, Australia <coughs> woke up after a routine tonsil surgery to find herself speaking in an Irish accent. Now the Asian Australian lady had never been to the Emerald Isle. Um, but neurologists say that this is a real phenomenon known as uh, foreign accent syndrome. The Emerald Isle. The Emerald Isle. To the American ear, uh, her accent probably sounded quite authentic. Some words resemble British English, other words resemble American English, and her tone and voice have a kind of nasal and sing-song quality to it. Nasal. Nasal. Sing song. Sing song. Then again, Americans are notorious for not knowing what an Irish accent actually sounds like. Case in point, a number of failed attempts in Hollywood movies. So let's consider the source. Now, Irish people who have heard her voice uh, gave it mixed reviews. Some people said it sounded like a Northern Irish accent while others said it doesn't sound Irish to them at all. Some people even say that she was faking the whole thing just to get attention online. Consider the source. Consider the source. In my country, many, many years ago, you had to talk like this if you wanted to be on television. BBC News at 10, oh. something like that. Yeah. But if you had a more regional accent, <laughs> people looked down on you. They thought you were lower class. So these days it's getting better, but I'm just wondering, is there a similar kind of, um, what, what's the word? Like s s uh, snobbishness yeah. to regional accents in your country? Sure, I mean, if someone speaks with like a really Southern accent, I'm from Texas, right? Mm -hmm. So if I talk like yes, <laughs> then people might look down on that and automatically assume I'm uneducated or really super conservative politically. You do hear more regional accents these days, although I would say there is still this sort of flat British accent that you hear on television most of the time. Mm. Hello, I'm Alex and this is the news, you know, very uh, easy to understand. But I, I think it's less to do with like <clears throat> snobbishness and more just uh, the wanting of the viewer to understand every word clearly, because sometimes regional accents can be more difficult to understand. Um, so that's understandable, um, but the there is still a certain level of snobbishness to attitudes towards accent. That's going to do it for the preview. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with the review.